So here we have a little series. If you'd like more of these down below, giant boys, check out the bamboo bike. Check out the bamboo bike at the two and under. 2015 just checking the gopros work and now look at this this is a good one i'll, I'll say at the back here film this watch how cyclists do it right over tram tracks or railway there you go big angle you want to hit the angle right you don't want to go a bit lightly you want to hit it at a right angle so i, was, I dropped off the pace just to show you that they're very important tip if you hit railway crossings don't fall into them i hit them at the right angle so crews along here the giant crew new bikes tcr uh we've got a few of the for the crew here, uh, Marcel Kittle's up there, Tom Dumoulin, and uh, Craddock, and a few other boys, Simon Getschke, and what we're going to do in this little video, give you a bit of a tutorial, and we've got some of the guys there taking some selfies, and we've got a cyclist on the left, young lass, out on her road bike, cycling's getting very popular in Adelaide, people are loving it, getting the weight loss benefits, turning up, exploring, riding their bikes, hold your line mate, hold your line! So you can see here, they accelerate hard off the lights, but quickly slow down. And he says, the rider in front, just another tip is get out the saddle frequently. Just keeps the blood flowing to the saddle area, stretch the legs out a bit, bit of a hamstring stretch there. I know that's not a Tinder profile, you're asking you, that's just a little bit of a hamstring stretch, sort of loosen up the muscles a bit. And that's a good tip, is get out the saddle regularly. So many cyclists sit in the saddle too long, and the complaint of saddle discomfort. Here's what the bikes look like. The giant TCR, Dura Ace, Pioneer Power Meters there, Dura Ace Electronic, C50s, Pro Handlebars Cockpit, Giant Helmets, Victoria Tires and Tudlers there. We're going in the corner. So you can see here, I'm gonna try and get different angles for you. I think I might need a new GoPro. This one, the lens is a bit blotchy. If you'd like me to get a new GoPro, this is actually GoPro 1 HD. If you'd like to get me a new GoPro, write down below. Get a new fucking GoPro, during Rider, and I'll go out and grab one tomorrow. If you think this quality is good enough, that's all right. I'll keep this one. But if you think the quality could be better, let me know down below, and I'll get a new one. See how we went for the roundabout there. Um, you want to hold the wheel. Good. Hold the wheel. Good. That's Marcel Kittel on the left. So you can see the different physiology of the riders there. Uh, Adam. There's Adam with Go Vegan on the left as well. Adam's only started cycling a few years ago, already as lean as a, a pro rider. And that looks like Tom Dumoulin in the front there. You, see, you can see different cyclists, different physiques, but everyone's trim. Everyone's trim. Some guys are more sprinters, some guys are more climbers, but everyone's everyone's slim and trim. And Marcel Kittel moving up there. One thing to be a good rider is you've got to have bunch confidence. Uh, you've got to have bunch confidence. And the sprinters, the sprinters don't care. They'll crash. They don't care. They just The goal is to win in a big bunch sprint, so they have a lot of... Uh, a lot of no fear going on there. So you can see, going for the roundabout there, Kittel's riding the uh, Propel SL. And the, the, what what did you be doing today? I'm probably sitting at about 100 watts at the back here, just cruising along, cruising along. These guys don't go that hard at all. What I notice the pro riders do is they might do intervals or some time trials or pace lining, hard pace lining. Other, other than that, they're just cruising along, maybe three watts per kilo, just tapping it out, tapping it out, spinning, talking, and... You, You'll see that a lot of the riders in this in this bunch here, everyone's got their hands in the hoods. They can hit their brakes really easily uh, most of the time. So that's a good tip. If you're in the pace line, you want to be covering your brakes. Otherwise, if you're just in the hood in the tops, you have to reach for your brakes. It's a bit hard on the person behind you because you're going to brake heaps harder. So I'm trying to get different angles here. Talking to Tom, tell him they've got to go left up here. Otherwise, they're going to hit a dead end. And you can see Adelaide's very good for training. Very good for training. Tom going to eat. Vegan boy's still here. Let's go faster, guys. And uh, Cruz going to go to the left. Because if you go straight on the military road, it's a dead end. So the, the teams do appreciate a bit of local knowledge uh, to show them where to go. And you can see around that corner there how to just drop the wheel a bit. And then you have to use energy to catch back on. Kittle's looking back. Oh, my God, the vegans are still here. Come on, guys. Schnell, Schnell. And we come up to the roundabout. Adelaide's such good for training. Such good for training. A little bit of a push in the back there, a bit of contact. Cruising along here. Again, it's easy wattage, easy wattage. What would you like me to do? Would you like me to make a video every day this week, riding with different pro teams, showing what the bike is, what people do, get some interviews perhaps as well? What would you like to see? Write it down below. We can do it all here uh, on YouTube. And this is this is good stuff. So you're going to look at the cadence. Everyone's spinning really lightly. Good cadence. Even though they're tapping along very, very gently. Um... The faster you go, the better your cadence has to be. If you want to go, if you want to push your limit, you've got to have better cadence. If you're just tapping along, it doesn't matter as much. But if you're really trying to push yourself, 
get your best performance, you want your cadence at least 90. If you're just tapping along, it doesn't matter as much, but it does help to spin because it will help you build better pedaling technique. Here we go, the team cars pulled up alongside, asking the lads if they need some sunscreen, a uh, bit of carbs or whatever. So there we go there, hold on to the team car. Again, this is a skill. It's a learned skill. You hold on to the car. You don't put your weight on the car. You're just sort of hooking your hand onto it. If you lean too much on the car and the car swerves, you're going to get a mouthful of tarmac. So Tom's there talking to the gang, and he dropped back afterwards and asked me if sunscreen is needed. These pro riders are pretty friendly guys. You know, they, they can tell you're part of the bunch, and if you can offer them a bit of advice or whatever. Tom's asking me now, do we need sunscreen? What do you think, Duran Rider? And I said, yeah, you should probably uh, keep your arm warmers on because the UV factor is still strong. Even though today was pretty cool, the weather was cool, but the UV in January in Adelaide is hardcore. So if you're not covering your skin up, you're going to get a little sizzled. You're going to sizzle a little vegan sausage. So we cruise along here. And again, the rider in front always has to point out any road debris. You, if you're on the front of the bunch, you have to point it out if there's any road debris because you're basically, everyone behind you is trusting you. So you've got to point out any big holes or bits of glass or windscreen wipers on the side of the road, things like that. That's the, that's the duty of the riders in front to call out any danger on the road. How long would you like these videos to be? This one's a bit of a long one. We've got nine minutes, wow. So what would you like to see in these vids? Stop lights, slow down, and we go through. What would you like to see in these videos? Let me know. This is a day one, Marcel Kittle and the giant gang heading along. Giant Bikes. Giant actually is a company based in Taiwan, and they make a lot of bikes for a lot of other companies. They make a lot of treks, they make a lot of Colnagos, they make a lot of bikes for a lot of other companies, and they just get rebadged, reboxed, and uh, sent off to the dealerships. But they're good bikes, the Giant. I definitely rate Giant uh, after riding one for a couple of years. The TCR, yeah, a very fantastic bike. Really enjoy Giant product. Mate Anton just bought a new giant Defy with the disc brakes and he's coming over from a Cervelo R3 and he says it's a much stiffer, more performance based bike even though it's you know, a third of the price. Uh, let's speed it up, let's hit the gas here, let's hit the gas. All right, now we're doing some intensity here. So we're cruising along the, the beach side, very easy riding around here, beautiful riding, a few roundabouts, not much traffic, cruising along. And you can see, they're coasting along, not even doing much, much intensity. So that's, that's a common mistake people make is trying to train too hard all the time and then when you have to go really hard to get the real benefits, they're too tired or they can't hold the wheel or whatever. So you want to do, most of your training should be very easy, just talking in the sunshine or in the snow, depends where you live, just going easy, just going cash, checking the GoPros on. So you see the guys here, they're not ripped, no one's ripped, but they're all lean, they're all lean. You don't have to be ripped, you have to be lean though. So a lot of people focus too much on weights but they can sacrifice their performance. You want to be fit all year long. Of course, you can be varying levels of leanness all year long, of shreddedness, but trying to hold shreddedness all year long, shreddedness is just not a natural state to be in. So if you want to be a shreddedness, then it's okay for a few weeks of the year or whatever, but even Lance Armstrong never reached shreddedness all year long. You know, there's varying levels. So you want to have uh, ups and downs in your body weight, 10, 15%, totally normal, natural, healthy, and you're not going to have peak form all year long. That's a big mistake people make. Oh, I'm not as fit as I was last month. That's all right, man. That's the natural thing of the body. You have peaks, ebbs, and cycles, and flows. You can be fit all year long, but you're not going to be super duper 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 smashing it fit all, all year long. Here's the bikes. Pretty little things, aren't they? Black, white, red, and blue. What do you think of the paint job? Do you approve? I think it looks all right. So Chad's bike there, and uh, Marcel's Propel, Albert, Lawson. Pioneer, power meter, interesting. There you go. Let us know down below what you want to see more of. We'll see you tomorrow.